That ended up being a bust. We got the white sign of death, but that's why we come at y'all with multiple plans. Maybe not at y'all, but we come up with multiple plans. So we're now going to B. This is Nick, for those of y'all that don't know him. He's been featured in quite a few of my videos. RX Anglers, show the boy some love. Go down and subscribe to his channel. He's gonna be linked in the description down below as well as a lot of other information. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to MDLR Fishing. My name is Mark. And today, I'm gonna try to use some childhood creations to see if I can catch fish. Hang with me, you'll see what I'm talking about. Here we go, we're gonna get the first rod ready and being that the heaviest one that I have is this light action right here. Let's take the corky off. Let me try to explain to y'all the what I was wanting to do and that is my childhood uh, creation put that right there it goes like this whenever I was a kid and my dad man stupid wind I'm getting my line all tangled up in the GoPro there we go uh, when I was a kid and my dad was gonna take me fishing I would get my stuff ready the night before and what I did was uh, the concept of a trot line you have a float on one end a float on the other end and you got all these hooks in between well I did the same thing with a fishing rod so I tied one, two, three, four, five, and so on hooks. And I'm like, I'm gonna bring them in. At each end, I had one of the little bubble floats, the red and white ones that were spring loaded. And when I cast out there, it was a genius plan, foolproof, it has to work, right? Wrong. <laughs> All the lures basically sank it in between and both floats came together. We fast forward to 30 years in the future and I'm going to see if I can make that work. So let's get some lures loaded up on here. And the goal is just to catch one fish. And then after that, everything else is icing on the cake because we'll go back to traditional fishing. Y'all bear with me. Here's my prize cre- oh gosh. Here's my prize creation. So check that out. One, two, three, four confidence lures all strung out together. And we're going to go see if this will work. All right, for those of y'all that are rooting for me, hit the thumbs up. For those of y'all that hate me because you just hate me and you're jealous, hit the thumbs down twice. Let's get down there to the first spot. So what do I see? A bunch of running water. I'm smart enough to know that if there's running water, there's gonna be fish somewhere in there feeding. I don't wanna fish the actual current itself because I'm, well, again, I'm smart enough to know that I'm probably not gonna catch anything. Let's get over here to where it kind of settles out. We're gonna cast out into it and just kind of retrieve it back. What up birds? How y'all doing? All right, somewhat eddy going on right there. First cast, oh gosh, that was a backlash. On a DC reel from Shimano, we backlashed already. I'm trying to cast straight out into that wind. This is gonna be tough. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna keep that from tangling up and I don't know how deep it is. We're gonna have to run the kayak over here somehow. Oh my gosh, this looks so cringy. We're already snagging up. Oh, we're already snagged. We're gonna lose a lot of money when we snag this thing. We got four chances to get snagged. Hey, check this out. For all you kayak fishermen, if you lost a Scotty mount, we'll uh, throw this away on our way out. I'm just hoping to snag a passerby. That many hooks, our chances of snagging a fish rather than them biting are really good. We're not gonna keep anything anyways. Let it sink just for a little bit. It's like a circus going on down there. All them colors, very vibrant, 
tails shaking every which way, getting snagged into rocks. Oh my gosh, no, come on, Mark. Bruh. Well, it's kind of like what happened when I was a kid. Basically lose everything. That is a lot of money's worth in lures and hooks all in one shot. I don't have the waders on. I did bring them, but I don't think it's worth putting them on just to go and snag that. We'll, we'll definitely get it out. Bear with me. There we go. We got it. What did I tell y'all? All right, Mark. Damn it. That was close. All right, we're going to bring it in a bit faster. Keep this guy in motion. Staying away from the bottom. One more cast on this side and that's it. I'm done trying to fight these northwest winds. However, they're coming in out of like straight north, almost north-northeast. Makes no sense to me. Okay, that is it. We've gave our fair shot. 20 minutes or so on this side. Let's uh, let's run to the other side. Let's go talk to Nick first, see how he's doing. How are you doing, Brotato? Uh, you doing good? I'm doing good with no bites. <laughs> oh, oh, did you? Yeah. If you count getting stuck, uh, yeah, I almost lost about, what is this? Probably $10 worth of hardware. All right. Let's see if we can get a cast off right here. Let's get it out there. There we go. Look at that juicy cast. All right, fish, do your worst. Let's play some tug of war. All right, guys, work with me. Let's make a video. We got to don't crush my childhood dreams, please. I don't know if I could handle that kind of rejection. Okay, this is the last cast and then we're going to move. There we go. Got it way out there. That way it can just have time to sink in that deep before getting hung up in these rocks. I'm telling you what, if I would have came at this at 10 years old, we would have already been snagged and broke off. No, coming in nice and slow until we get right here to the rocks and nothing. Well, we tried. Let's go to the other side and see if we can make it happen over there. Maybe we'll be able to take a little bit of refuge from the wind. Let's find out. No, it's not really any better over here. I do want to get right up alongside this right here. All right, this is a little bit better. I can work with this right here. These rocks are slippery. That's why I brought my jetty boots out. Got some spikes on the bottom. First cast. Oh yeah, I got that out there. I think we're snagged up. We're gonna have to figure out how to cast this without those lures bouncing into each other and the hooks just, yeah. Oh my gosh, Mark. Ah. We're never gonna catch a fish like this. How do we keep these guys? Maybe the heavier weight should win at the bottom, huh? That would have been a smart thing to do. Okay, let's just nice and subtle. There we go. That one worked. Didn't get as much distance, but it worked. And that's what we need to do. We just need to get it out there deep enough for a passerby wanting an easy meal. Oh, I was about to say, holy cow, we got one. However, we just got snagged and I don't think we're getting this out. Oh my gosh. It's that bottom bouncer lure. That guy, boy, he's got arms to just grab anything. Come on, baby. Oh, that is it. We are done. Wow. Well, that kind of breaks my heart. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've just lost the money rig and we are done. Uh, I gotta go back to the truck and tie on. Brotato, yeah. my childhood dreams just got crushed, bro. Sorry, man. It doesn't work. <laughs> you got maybe, yeah, maybe some things are better left alone. Yeah, this is the walk of shame. Me going back to the truck, putting on another lure. We got somewhat of a tiny little leader left 
Oh my gosh. I'm so ashamed. Let's not be lazy. We're gonna retie another leader, something that's appropriate to like fishing seriously. All right, what will we use, y'all ask? We're gonna throw a swim hook on. This is a great color for this time of year. A white chartreuse paddle tail. Excellent lure. Stick that guy through. Couple of twists. Y'all know what I forgot? The pro cure. Oh, just so perfectly rigged. Okay, let's get this leader line. Yeah, alrighty. Probably about two and a half feet of leader line. Let's go give this another try. One more shot over here in the deep. You ready to go? Okay. Just working it nice and slow. The beauty of using a swim hook is that it's not exposed. So I'm not in fear of actually getting snagged up on a rock because that hook is not exposed. If we do get snagged, it's because we get pinched in a point down there between two rocks or something like that on the hook itself. Plus we can cast all the way out there and just let that fella drop like a, a rap song watching the uh, yo mtv reps come on come at me fish i want to say thank you to a few of the viewers for already coming up with a design for the nursery slam t-shirt i'm looking forward to being able to judge all the art that's going to come in and i must say there has been one submission that I'm leaning towards already. But we got to see what the family thinks about it as well. So thank you all so much. If, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my Nursery Slam contest. It'll explain everything that I'm trying to do. All right, I'm done. I'm done. It's very deep. Me and Christian have fished over here off to the other side in the kayak and we anchored. Uh, probably not the best thing to do, but it is deep. That current has carved out like a big old block down there and uh what i was puzzled by was uh th there was another kayaker doing it so that's why monkey see monkey do he was dropping live shrimp down with just uh like a, a small split shot weight and dude was catching solid sized trout literally right there 20 feet down i couldn't catch anything go figure the only thing i caught was like a sheep's head and a shark came and pulled it off of christian's kayak what do you say, brother? You gonna get a fish? Uh, I'm gonna get a nosebleed. <laughs> Nick's gonna get a nosebleed. I'm working on trying to catch a fish, and I, I don't want, what? What? <laughs> I was gonna get a nosebleed. Man. Really, in the cold weather? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're doing some combat fishing out here. Make sure you bring the uh, nose bandages, the gauze to go inside there if you fish with Nick, because he just might. Y'all should be familiar with this spot from the previous video. I have high hopes for it because it gets relatively deep whenever you're bank fishing, especially on the opposite side. Bro, I caught one 17 inch trout. What? With the gold, dude. What? <laughs> I caught him when I was reeling it in. He just came and whacked it. Oh my God, Nick. Oh, dude, I, that was totally <laughs> but I didn't even record it. Whoa. Oh. Oh, but I got the other part of it. Oh my gosh, oh. Nick. Well, at least I caught fish. The gulp, yes. I'm gonna come catch Nick's fish. Okay, here we go. There we go. So if I would have some pro cure on this lure, I'd probably have better chances. How far are you casting out? I didn't see it. Twenty, yeah, that's about what I'm getting. Yeah, it's 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 pushing it so freaking fast. It's so crazy. Yeah. That was crazy. I, I, next, uh, spot you try? I don't really care. I'm lost. You got the dike. That's a big bank fishing spot. Oh my gosh, the water is out. Look at that right there. Don't let this right here fool you. Make no mistake, there is still high winds coming in out of that direction. Welcome to the dike, everybody. 
let's uh, see what we can do over here at this super top secret spot. Okay. Oh, you can't go in there, bro. They're gonna, they'll come and get you. Yeah, the truck is gonna ride over here because they got cameras right there. <laughs> Nick, yeah, for real. Nick is gonna tap out really quick, people. Watch, they're gonna come get him. But you can go in the water, though. You can go in the water, you just can't go on that side in the water. But if you cast towards that, that little piling right there, I've seen tons of big, big girls caught on live what shrimp. Do you see the little pylon? This little pole? Yeah. Why is, are they attracted to that? I don't know. That's where the dude was casting, and he was racking them in. You see the oh, mullet? Dude. The mullet's like, hey, get, you know, get them off my back. This is going to conclude our fishing trip for the day. I hope y'all enjoyed it. You can't always be a winner, right? That's what YouTubers are gonna say whenever they get skunked, just like me today. I'm gonna treat my boy Nick to some oysters and some gumbo uh, right here at a really nice spot. So if y'all are interested, check it out. There's the free plug for Gilhoolies. Let's get inside there and chow down. I wanna thank y'all for tagging along on today's adventure and until next time, tight lines, y'all.